Twitter is the purported uh, newspaper publication by one admin bureau circulating in the Telegram and, and WhatsApp groups in the Grand ecosystem. Two will be the plan by bundle heads or a plan by NGO CEOs to disperse the only one bundle going to be given to them back to themselves among the circle of CEOs. Then the third concept word is the expected arrangement towards the UA AG disbursement. Let's quickly look at the first subject of this session, which is a purported letter by Admin Bureau currently circulating in the grand space. In the first instance, this Admin uh, Bureau did not believe in the existence of UK AG grants. He was campaigning and cajoling the media or the masses to believe on your background. At a certain time, he started believing on the UK AG grant and invented cook up one uh, base relief pack, deceiving the masses of going to disburse the grant to them as a relief before the disbursement of UK AG grant. He extorted money from the public, calling them to pay 1,000 naira to receive 1 million naira or pay 5,000 to receive 5 million naira when he is not even a grant handler. Having seen that, he can't live up to his promise to the masses he extorted. He reinvented another plan and metamorphosed into uh, controlling some horrible media. The same people we extorted money from, controlling them again into paying another 1,000 or 2,000 naira for him to publish his newspaper in uh, an attempt to protest against the non disbursement of UK AG grant. The same grant he never believed in the first instance. All this, the media should understand that I mean, Will is trying to save his head from being called to refund the millions of naira that he extorted from the masses. Looking critically at the contents of this uh, purported admin slow newspaper publication, he claimed that the UAAG UAS grant has been fixed on, has been placed on fixed deposit. Is this actually true? And his threatening of a, a, a mass protest because of delayed UAAG disbursement due to placing the grants on fixed deposit. This is purely a baseless and unsubstantiated claims in entirety. The UAAG country director and personal ambassador Dr. Ken Makama intimated the masses that the grant is to be dropped in his account. He said the CBN have already completed the plan for depositing the money in his account. At that instant, the masses are aware that the, the grant handlers were requested to provide three particular accounts to CBN for the money to be transferred into. This was as of last week. That implies between that sketch of last week to this, today we are standing. We expected a feedback from the UAAG that the money has been dropped into the account for disbursement. And this is where all of us are. Then why is Admin Blue uh, claiming of the money having been deposited in the UAAG grant uh, account being placed on fixed deposit? This is one of those elements that we the masses need to fight against because they are already a thorn in the flesh of the expected beneficiaries of this grant. I know the, the information, the topic itself is baseless. It, it has no, it holds no importance to the grant ecosystem at the moment. This is a misinformation, and you know the offense of misinformation in Nigeria. The need to prove to the grant handlers how the grant was being deposited in the account with adequate weight of evidence. And if it if, if doesn't have this evidence to prove to the masses and to the UAAG, then we need to expect and return to the UAAG grant disbursement is complete. So the masses should not have anything to worry about such a baseless paper. It goes no importance and it goes no effect. It, the government, before they act, need to confirm if the acquisitions or the petitions submitted to them is substantiated enough. The question at the moment is, is money, is the UAAG grant actually placed on fixed deposit as claimed by Admin Bureau? 
The answer is no. The grant is not pledged on the fixed deposit. First S made in commission by Admin Wheel and his team. And we call on the appropriate authority to investigate this, this misinformation and take adequate action against this to stop creating noise in the grant ecosystem. The archival mic that Admin Rio is from disowned him a few weeks ago over the same misleading and, in, uh, and criminal activity. This activity is purely a way of Admin Rio attempting to exonerate himself from the many extortions he has involved in, in the grant ecosystem, even when he's not a grant handler. And again, what, in, what moral standing does Admin Rio have to call on protest in a grant that he is not an architect of? Is he a grant handler? Is he a stakeholder that attracted this grant to Nigeria? No. So what responsibility or what right did he actually have to call for protest in, in, over a grant that he has no connection with? Admin Rio is a middle son in Tanopa and should be treated accordingly, should be placed in the place he rightly belongs to. We, the masses, all grant subscribers, the NGOs, the bottle head, but the entire masses in the grant ecosystem, his own Admin Rio and his entire team over this purported newspaper publication. And we call on the UAAG or the grant handlers to investigate this misinformation and take adequate action on them. We don't want to see him strolling this media space and misleading the public. We are in the eve of UAAG grant disbursement. We don't want any distraction at this instance. All is still to be placed where they rightly belong to. If there is any reason for any protest, it is the NGO CEOs who are actual partners who come into one umbrella or one body to call for protest. And the activities happening lately doesn't give anyone any reason to go in resort into protesting. Because from what the country director of UAAG said, disbursement is already at our doorsteps. Why should anyone protest at this hour? Now let's look at the second subject of this session. NGO CEOs planning to dispose the entire grant to themselves. Yes, the information or the voice note from this bundle head, according to him, that the NGO CEOs are planning to dispose the only one bundle they will be given back to themselves in the CEO forum. Now the question is, is this a fact? Is this claims by Bondo Head actually true? But I will have loved to talk more on this because there are committees in the UAAG responsible for addressing this. But for the sake of those audience who are calling on me to help inform the UAAG of the plan of the CEOs to truncate the disbursement of these grants to Bondo Head. On this basis, I wish to state that the, to you all who heads, you have nothing to worry about. If there is actually such plan or arrangement by NGO CEOs to disperse this money to themselves, there is an already set up committee by the UAAG to monitor a disbursement of this grant state by state, region by region, by the UAAG monitoring team. There is a monitoring team that needs to checkmate the activities of these CEOs in every state of this federation. When the grant is disposed completely to the recipient, this committee expects a statement of account filed within five to seven days to the committee. And this committee will go through the statement to confirm if this money are actually disposed to the bundle head that deserves the grant. So no CEOs will truncate what is meant for the bond head for recipient. If there is any arrangement, there are no actually there are some CEOs that have no beneficiaries or recipients that do not collect money from any bond head in their circle. Those ones will rather focus on their community-based recipients. They will focus on the uh, market uh, places, the friends, the workplaces, 
a recipient. They will select or mobilize their own recipients from their states, their, their local government and their communities to disperse to them. Those ones did not collect any time from any fund over. I'm aware of those CEOs. If you are a, maybe encounter any arrangement by those states that are mobilizing for online uh, recipient audience, that should not be a headache to any fund over at the moment. Those CEOs that actually collected money for bundle heads is accountable to those bundle heads. They will disperse the grants to the bundle heads. There is a body that you need to report to if you subscribe a, a grant with a CEO and it doesn't uh, disperse to you. Immediately uh, during the disbursement process, and you notice your NGO CEO is not disbursing to you when you have made some financial commitments to such NGO. And you can report to us on the GFF channel if you are our member. And we will now communicate your official complaint to the UKHG authority concerned with this checkmating process or this monitoring team. Or then you can explore other modalities in the UKHG management. They will know exactly what to do with such NGO CEOs. Again, to you, the NGO CEOs, how would you feel in? Even though you don't have anybody under you, even though you don't have anyone who is subscribing under you, how would you feel if you dispose the whole 1,000 money back to yourself? And when you turn eye around your neighborhood, someone is sharing two cups of garlic with five, seven, or eight family members, how would you feel when you see people, kids dropping out of school? Then you have millions of money accumulated in your bank account. People are going around struggling to have one or two squares in a day. People are sick, don't even afford drugs. How will you feel if you dispose the whole money back to yourself? In, I don't think any CEO will engage in this activity. For so being a non governmental organization of holding the core concept of humanitarianism which is caring for the welfare of fellow humans. So I don't think any CEO will deny or no case the privilege of benefiting from this God's given grant. We are all aware that we are not the owner of our lives. We can accumulate the whole money there and in the next snap of finger, it is gone. I will always ask people to bring this back to the immediate past CEO of Access Bank. May his soul rest in peace. He owned the mansion in Lagos last month. He just during his birthday checked into the apartment. He hasn't actually enjoyed those luxuriousness. He constructed a university that haven't actually lived to see the expansivity, the progress and productivity of that university. This should call the living into reason. Life can disappear at any time. Rather than accumulate excessive wealth that we don't want, we should use it to the betterment of fellow man. Spread your wealth to the masses. This is what is the reason of our existence. And this will equally give you more happiness than if the money is accumulated in your account. And as the whole humanitarian community, the whole societal safety, the humans are dying in hunger and poverty. Let's critically look at the third subject of this session, which is the complaint of bundle head of being paid as a recipient. We discussed this a few weeks ago, that this grant made provisions for everyone to be a recipient. There is no provision for you to maintain the, the entitlement of the bundle head. This particular episode of UAAG disbursement treats everyone as a recipient. I know at a certain period I intimated you, my subscribers, that I will reveal to you how much the recipient is entitled to during disbursement. You might have already been aware. Yes, the template is that the NGO CEOs will be given one bundle. For those that are still expecting 200 bundles, 500 bundles as a, you know, an organization, you will receive just one bundle. 
except you have any special arrangement or commitment to the new AFG that deserve compensation with many funds. But generally, the more than 90% or 95% of CEOs will receive one bundle. One bundle contains 1,000 beneficiaries. This each beneficiary is entitled to 100,000 Naira. I know that is what we were expecting to hear from the uh, UAAG country director in the last meeting and from the All Grants Pressure Group. But during that meeting between the president of All Grants Pressure Group, uh, Comrade Abdul Razak, he actually stated that the money that you are going to receive as a beneficiary is enough to take care of your expenses throughout the entire grant process since seven to six years ago. I know that is what he was actually preparing the minds of the media towards. The money is small, but you will take care of your expenses. Then to the bundle heads that are complaining or asking how they are going to be benefit from the grant if there are no provisions for bundle heads. It's a simple mathematics. If you have five bundles and you were supposed to be paid as a bundle head, now there is no provision for bundle head, then you become a recipient, instant recipient in your NGO. That means the five bundles become five recipients. So you supply five account names, different account names, one of your account names and four other from your friends or your family members to the CEO to be captured in the same slot. If you apply for 10 bundles, 10, 20 bundles, then you simply provide 10 or 20 different account details to your NGO for disbursement. That is the arrangement for this episode of UK AG Grant. So you are not actually be denied your entitlement as a bundle yes, you are paid as the recipient pending subsequent grants that is forthcoming after this one. This grant is uh, assumed to be a logistic for everyone, logistic for you, the bundle head that spend money to mobilize the bundles, the logistic for the NGOs that have traveled around Abuja, stay in hotel, that have even bought clusters in the area of Sam, Telpacon, Golden Bridge, Mama Supreme, Gilbert, expensively, and no CEOs that have spent 20 million, 40 million Naira since the past seven years. So this particular grant may not actually retain those expenses, but will at least take care of 70 to 80 percent of your expenses so far in the history of the grant ecosystem in Nigeria. The last question everyone wants to hear is when is disbursement taking place? Going by feedbacks we are getting from authenticated sources, disbursement is scheduled to take place this week. I know some people will say that the usual this week, next week, we are tired of it in the grant ecosystem. But whether you believe it or not, UA Egypt disbursement is taking place this week. Trust God. We trust it is going to take place to the glory of God and humanity.